Okay, this is just a uh, little review and um, overview of the Valifold uh, voltage regulator buck converter. Um, so the term buck converter is important here. Um, if you're looking for a voltage converter, you might have come across this. It, its voltage range is input of 4 to 40 volts, output of 1.5 to 35 volts. Where the important uh, terminology of buck converter is, is that it's a down conversion only. Buck means down. Otherwise, it would be a boost converter if it was up, or a buck boost converter if it allowed both up and down. So I had bought this originally thinking of up converting, um, probably not needing to down convert, and I think I typed in the term converter and ended up getting this buck converter, uh, thinking that it was a buck and boost converter, but it is not. It is buck only. So um, my input is plugged in, and I've got 12 volts coming in, but the model is LM2596. Yeah, it's a DC to DC buck converter, voltage regulator, step down module. Uh, it's got a deviation of plus or minus 0 0.05 volts. It's right around two and a quarter inches long. It's a pinch over uh, five, five and a half centimeters. I'm going to get this out of the way. Now I'm going to talk you through the board. So we've got our in, we've got our out, uh, we've got our um, our voltage regulator, which is a screw. Um, turn it clockwise, puts the voltage up, counterclockwise, brings it down. And we'll talk through what that, how to do that in a second. Uh, it's got three different LEDs. One is for the power, which you can see here. This LED is specifically saying, it's specifically associated to this volt voltmeter display. Um, so this display is currently says 11.9. I've got because I've got a 12 volt coming in, and then that's that's um, representative of the voltage that it sees coming in. This button here um, is is a or this light is thus associated with this and the input. This button here is actually just display on, display off. Do not confuse that with turning the module on or off. It's just the display. So if you're integrating this into a costume or whatever you're doing with um, voltage conversion, um, this will get this out of your distraction or whatever if you need to get rid of it. Um, so you see that uh, that's the 12 volts coming in there. And now we're going to get the other light to show over here by pushing this button. So this this is our mode changer. So we can we can jump back and forth between checking our voltage on the input and on the output. So again, this is only a, a buck converter, so it only brings it down. So right now I've got it set at 5 volts, which is where I want it. But when you get this out of the box, it's always defaults to max. So you're getting whatever max voltage is coming in on this. And then once you turn it down to a certain amount, if you swap out your input and it has a different voltage, then it's still going to it's just going to representatively be down that percentage. So if I put a 3.7 volts lipo on here, it'll drop drop it down to three volts or something like that. Um, but so, so I've already dropped it down. And when you first do that, it would be a counterclockwise. And this counterclockwise, you have to do it for, I don't know, maybe a dozen times counterclockwise before it will start actually uh, turning this down. Uh, just keep going counter, counterclockwise, and it'll eventually start going down. Uh, so you can see I can just keep going down. And it, it moves relatively quickly once you get down there. But once you get on the higher end, so if I just keep going up, now things start to get a lot slower. Yeah, see? Um, so you... The, the further down you go, the, the quicker it starts to change. So you can see how, how easy it is. Um, and it, the screw isn't something that'll pull out. It's not like you can unscrew it and it'll fall out. It's just you can keep you can keep uh, turning it counterclockwise and it'll keep down converting your voltage. The only thing left really then is calibrating. So what you can do is do what I did and take your volt voltmeter and test your input and your output. If it's on that side and the input voltage is wrong, then you can push and hold. Now you get the flashing and now, now I can oh, see you can see it drop. Again, I went up, two, three, four. I'm going to go back down, you know, based off of whatever my my voltmeter says. That, um, oops, I meant to lock it out. Okay, so let's say I've calibrated it. Now I can push and hold. And now it's locked. Cool. Now, if I wanted to do it on this side, so if I'm if I'm shooting for five volts out and I check it and it's at 5.2 or, you know, something like that, then I can do the same thing, push, hold, and then up, up it to 5.2 and then push hold to save. I'm not going to do that because I've already calibrated this and it's right. So yeah, so that's it on this. Um, that's the, the main thing that you want to take away is that this is only a voltage down. Don't let the don't let the um, numbers like this make you think that, oh, I can put in any of these voltages and get out any of these. No, it's only going down. So that's this is what you get um, coming out like that. Um, so, so if you want to see how I use the voltmeter to test this, go ahead and stick around for the next video. Hopefully that helped out. Um, if so, leave a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Take care. I'm out.